on the AC after the crash. 18,000 days. And the years, surely. So, are they fish and are they in the water? Or is it... It's definitely... Water. Looks like water. Morning, Harold. Hello, Morning, Professor. Love. What did you think of that announcement? It was quite fantastically self-aggrandizing. Yes, it did go on a bit. The boy seems cool, though. Indeed. I'm sure it'll make a great source of distraction. Now, if you're quite ready. Sure. Um, ready for what? I made a breakthrough discovery at the Arboretum last night. You remember the last batch of bloomy rocks? Oh, the really small ones from the last intake? The ones with the strange shapes and the little holes and... The blue ones, yes. Turns out their surface composition doesn't just give us clues about our immediate aquatic environs. I think they've picked up some influences from outer space as well. Take a look through the microscope. You'll see what I mean. Just remind me exactly how that thing works again. Harold, are you fooling me? This will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. Yeah, Harold. You need to open the hatch first. Open the hatch, my friend. Now, activate the switch next to the bore to open the sample shelf. Now, this switch. Which one are we looking at today? The rock you want is in the container on the lower right. Yes, ma'am. Remember your left and right. Oh, my good. Okay. Insert. Et voila. Check the microscope, and finally, you'll see what I mean. The one you're looking at now seems to have picked up radiation from our nearest sun. There's a particular mark for each time there's been a solar flare. I can only see one mark? That's the problem. There isn't enough of a recording on this one. I dated it to roughly 40 BC. So we need an older one. For... Exactly. Older ones, ideally. Although I doubt we'll have much luck catching more of them by chance. Oh, yes. We have to figure out when there's going to be a gap between flares. Flares cause the solar winds. A gap between solar storms is our only window for leaving this place. I need you to look into this, Harold. If anyone on board has an older rock, we need it procured. Yes? But if we're not going to be able to catch one, where am I supposed to start looking? You could start at Tommy's store. You and I both know that guy somehow gets hold of whatever those filter stations spit out and then sells them at an outrageous markup. Good evening, Jean. Nice to see you, Bridget. Is the sample in the microscope? I'm really curious to inspect it. Yes, you definitely should. Okay. I'm talking to you? Okay, I'm talking to you. Hey. Hey, you're the professor's assistant, Jeremy, right? Um, yes, but no, I'm Harold Halibut. I interned in your section for about a year. Oh, goodness, you're a microwave boy. So, you do remember me. Yes, how could I forget that debacle? Actually, I've just met with your professor. Is everything okay? Not entirely, but I probably shouldn't be telling you. Okay, I'll... But I suppose if Moreau trusts you, I'm a bit worried about our ship's energy reserves. I thought I'd talk to your boss about it. She's the smartest person on board, isn't she? Reserves? Are we in some kind of trouble? Now I've said too much. Ask Moreau. Perhaps she'll tell you more. Did you guys talk about the Bloomy Rocks at all? Moreau said I should maybe check with your husband. As a matter of fact, we did. As for my husband, you'll have to ask him, which is more than I've been able to do the past few days. Knowing that infuriating rock collection, I'm sure he'll find you something. He's a sweetheart, really, you know? Go ask him. See you later. Bye, Richard. Should have turned my light off last night when I was in bed. 
gonna know it's me. Harold, when you see Cyrus, could you give him a message for me? Sure thing, Professor. Just ask him, how are the details coming along? Okay. I will ask him, but, um... Yes, yes, I know. I could ask him myself, uh, but didn't you stop to wonder why I don't want to? I just did stop to wonder. It's complicated, okay? We go back a long way and don't always see eye to eye, especially on matters of categorization, nomenclature, and subsequent archiving methodology. Not that he ever saw fit to delineate his preferred... Uh, don't mind me, Harold. I just mean Cyrus has his stubborn phases, and I just can't talk to him when he's in one. Okay, say no more. Your message is safe with me. Actually, Harold... No, it's okay. Nothing. Run along now. Say no more. Please. Stop a talking. And let me run like an old man. I go downstairs. Cyrus. Hello, my friend. Oh, where is he? He's not in his home. I shall. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the Allport Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. But why isn't the line active? What needs improving? A man has a right to know. I don't know the exact decision-making process that led to this, sir. But I assure you, it will be for the good of your overall long-term oh, oh, travelling experience. Destination determined. Yep. Now, relax with all water. Now, no discount scheme. No discount schemes. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. You're welcome. What's in here? What can I do to press buttons? Ping dong. Hello. Where am I going? Who is this guy? Move. Thank you. Hello. Ah, hello, citizen. Oh, hey, Captain at Large. Call me Zoya, please. What can I do for you? Just doing my rounds. Do you need anything? Me? No, I'm doing great. We really pulled it off, eh? Oh, do you want some help putting it back on? Uh, uh, hey, no, the announcement. <laughs> Wasn't it epic? And don't you think I did pretty darn well? We really uh, yeah. pulled it off. There were lots <laughs> of announcements. And I like the bit where you... Ah, yes. That was a nice touch, wasn't it? Maybe people will see that I can be useful now. That I can lead. 
take destiny in my own hands. Destiny? Yes, destiny. Oh, speaking of which, I must get back to work. I've got an important new announcement to work on for Madam CEO. Thanks for stopping by. You're a welcomer. What's this button do? Yeah. I go now. Bye. See you in 1949. What do I do? Do I see when I'm looking at you? A roar? Taking all my money. Thank you for traveling with all water. All water have had to close the line temporarily for improvement works. But why the isn't line... the line active? What needs improving? A man has a right to know. I don't know the exact decision making I look process at the map. that led to this, not. sir. But I assure you, it will be good as your overall long-term tube traveling. Yeah. All water, moving people every day. Basically, we're going down the toilet every time we go into the elevator. Or should I say the water vator? Yes. Water vator. We know you enjoy traveling with Utterly unconcerned for your own safety, your no respect for authority, wanton disregard for the future of humanity. Harold! Good timing. You can explain things to the Major, can't you? Harold, come here and explain things. And yourself. Major, I'm just passing through. I really don't know what this is about. Hi, Felix. So you're not here to make excuses for this diminutive delinquent? Hey, I'm not diminutive. I've just got longer to live than you. And Harold, tell him about our plan. Harold! I thought I told you to stay out of trouble. I should have known you'd be wrapped up in this. I'm not in trouble. There is no plan. Are you questioning my authority and or organizational merit? What? No, Major. I... If I find out you're a bad influence on young Felix here... Not me. Major. Whatever Felix did, I'm sure it was meant innocently. And how would you know about that? Unless you're in league with him. I just meant... I mean, if you just relax. Relax? Yes. Harold, you're really starting to tweak my beak. Uh, but, but, you have uh, what did beak. Felix do anyway? Utterly unconcerned for his own safety, no respect for authority, wanton disregard. Anyway, Major, under whose jurisdiction is Harold in trouble? Mine! I'm the law here. Felix, will you be a witness to this? Absolutely. And can you testify to Harold's involvement? Only if he's willing to testify to mine. Harold, tell the truth now. It'll be easier in the long run. I haven't Hi. witnessed anything to testify. Damn it! Then the case is in danger of falling apart. I'm sure Felix's parents will deal with this. Good point. They should really be present while you question me, Major. I'm only a minor. Don't you throw the book at me, son. Where are they anyway? I don't know. And good luck finding them. Oh no, Felix. Have you lost them? Harold, leave this to the professionals. Felix, do you mean to tell me you've neglected to file a missing person or persons report? Shouldn't we look for them? Don't change the subject. But, Major, what is the subject? You know where his mother is. That's right, Harold. You know your rights. If, and I mean if, you're acting as some kind of heroic big brother figure to this young man, I expect you to be a positive influence. I, we, there's no... Come on, spit it out, man. Just leave me alone, Sandstrom. I've got fish to feed. Okay, Harold, but your fist won't save you if I catch you red-handed. Now, Felix! Where is Felix? Oh, no. Felix? Harold! You've lost him! Gah! I didn't lose him. You did. Ya donkey. Mm. 
not talking to you? Oh, the light. This can't be optimized. John Slippy Jr. What can I do for you, sir? Black Diamond deals are now on. One day only. Don't sleep on Slippy's exclusive new campaign launch event. No. Don't want it. Buy now some shiny rocks. on the stage. General Star, maybe? Look, okay. Look oh, the biggest, shiny, finest. Fast by now. Sale. You're cool. So be cool all of the time with my patented Consta Cool fabrics. So you see, that's the slippy difference. And if you just watch this exciting infomercial, Ah, Harold! If it isn't my favorite multi-maintenance man! Wait! Are you sure I can't interest you in... Oh, never mind. Hello. How's business? You're an everyman, right? I've made a new ad, and I need your opinion. I mean, I think it's great, but maybe it's too high concept. Oh, well... I'm not really qualified to... Nonsense! Just watch! I was trying to read a book in the comfort of my own home, but my own home wasn't comfortable. It was too hot to concentrate. Will I ever be able to read to my children or enjoy the adventures of the Fedora 4 from my armchair again? Why, yes, of course you will. With my patented, tried and tested aircon system, you'll always be able to keep your brain, books, and body sweat free and as cool as Jimson Jameson himself. Please note, Slippy's aircon system is not officially endorsed by the creators of the Fedora 4 or their likenesses. Burn. Sometimes I just can't get cozy. How's a man supposed to look after his family with cold arms? My family are depending on me. What am I going to do? Clad yourself in one of our triple insulating cozy jackets and matching thermal underwear, of course. You know what they say, warm hands, warm hearts. Slippies means heritage. I'm the latest in a long tradition of winter sports enthusiasts. Slipmires throughout history have kept everyone from royalty to the common man warm and cozy in their pursuits of the great outdoors. Slippies means social responsibility. The Schlipmeyers were one of the most generous sponsors of the Fedora One Project, giving back to the people, sharing their knowledge of insulation technologies and considerable wealth to keep humanity warm and cozy among the stars. Remember, you deserve to live and work at whatever temperature is right for you. With over 200 years of expertise, you can bet the weather forecast shows slippies across the board. Come in out of the cold and into Slippies. Slippies, heat protection so good, it'll be a cold day in hell. Well, what did you think? <laughs> um, hmm. What did I just watch? Sounds about good. Um, it was, there were lots of things and... Uh... Great, so glad you agree. And while you're here... I was just going. Ah, oh, come on. You can't go without testing my new half-pipe experience. It's new and improved by a little modification to my patented aircon system that I'm calling the Freezer. Is that... Do I have to... I'm glad you asked. It combines precise atmospheric condition synthesis with the ski sim to recreate the most lifelike experience of skiing you can dream of. That sounds... Uh, wait. Me? Skiing? But I don't... Nonsense! I'm sure you're a natural! Now let's get you strapped in! This could be fun. Uh... 
Oh, Harold, you were really blown away by it, huh? First really. time's the hardest. It's all downhill from there. <laughs> I guess I'm slippy by name, but you're slippy by nature. <laughs> I guess so. I'd really better go now. Sure, sure, but just so you know, I run a pretty generous referral scheme, if you're interested. For every customer you get. Got a dash. Okay, Harold. Be skiing ya. Please stop talking. Let me out. Thank you. Do I have to go upstairs then? Find some rocks. Hello. Yeah, hey, man. Welcome to the fish fish hut. Sample our homegrown fedora fish or our fresh water catch of the day. What's the catch of the day today? Today, we have the great spotted super grouper. Sounds tasty. Turn audio down. Wickle bit. Just out of interest, is that a native fish? Not to tell, man. You know, a few. Not too loud. This ship's fish escaped during the crash, so we don't know if they thrive in the ocean or even intermingle with native species. But we can guarantee that fresh super grouper taste you know and love. Okay, look. I don't want any fishies. I want to find some rocks. Coming soon. Just look behind a tree. Is it? Why, hello there, frogman. me now. I'm gonna put graffiti on the wall. It's an ISO. Please clean it off. You clean it off. I am busy. Clean graffiti. There's the blue rock. Message Cyrus. Cyrus. Right. But we need to find the guy first. Slippy surprise. That's the door. Why won't you let me through? Thank you. Where am I going? Only one I have. Water compliments you on your choice of destination. Whee! Thank you for getting me wet. All water, we get you where you're going. Close your eyes. Glad somebody does. Inspecting. 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 Okay. No contaminants. Six years later. I love his rub. So cool. Alright, Cyrus. How's it going, chap? Hello, Sai. How's it going? Oh, it's been tough, Harold. Every detail has a detail. It's like this filigreed... Oh, uh, it's good you're here, actually. Yeah? What do you need? Well, I'm 
having a bit of difficulty with the 3D printer. It's leaving gaps everywhere. Oh, okay. Shall I take a look? Yes, please. But I hope you're better with technology than you are with the ladies. Um, I hope so, too. Anyway, see if you and your screwdriver can get this printer its third dimension back. Can you press any buttons, laddie? What do you want me to do? 3D print. Projector. First. You have to undo the screws first to remove the front panel. Yes, sir. Saying you, you bloody green button. Oh, there's a red, 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 red. Ooh, I think you're nearly there. I think I surely am, yes. Now, you see that hole? Yes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Harold. I couldn't <laughs> resist. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Sai, was the printer even broken? Mm, maybe, maybe. If it's any consolation, I discovered this little trick the hard way. Ow! Why didn't you just fix it then? Well, where would the fun have been in that? I'm not sure I like your idea of fun. Hmm, funny. Sunny says the same thing to me. But I guess she didn't like your idea of fun either, eh? Ow. Think of it as a wake-up call, Harold. Yeah, a little extra juice. Oh, that reminds me. Moreau asked me to ask you, how are the details coming along? Oh, thanks, Harold. Just like her to ask that. <clears throat> Is it? Uh, anyway, see you next time, Sai. Si. 